Hi, my name is Doug. Um, my advocate's main claim was that violence in mass media has a negative effect on the audience. Uh, my main claim is violence in mass media does not have an effect on the audience. Uh, my supporting claims were violence in movies have no, no cause of violent behavior. Uh, violence in music has no cause of violent behavior. Uh, violence in media does not cause desensitization. Violence in mass media has no effect on psychological well being. Psychological and violence in video games has no effect on those who play them. So going back to violence in movies has no cause of violent behavior. Um, my advocate talks about James Holmes in The Dark Knight Rises, uh, shooting in Colorado. Weeks before the shooting, uh, James Holmes uh, talked about dys dysphoric uh, mania, which is a form of bipolar disease. Um, and there is no statistical evidence that the movie caused him to do the mass attack. People dress up all the time in, uh, for movie premieres, and you don't see people going around shooting and killing other people. Uh, Friedman, who was a professor at the University of Tor uh, Toronto, uh, says, violent movies and violent television programs do not create violent viewers. The most um, likely explanation for the studies where exposure to violent media appears to cause uh, increase in violence in people are those with aggressive personalities simply prefer violent movies and shows. Uh, my second point, uh, violent movies has no cause in, has no cause in violent behavior. Um, Michael Page uh, with his uh, temple shooting due to hate rock in Wisconsin on August 5th, 2012. Um, this contained in the first point claim about the, uh, the Dark Knight Rises that there are a lot of people, who, racist people, who listen to music and they don't cause violence at all. Um, according, to student, according to Student Academic Services, listening to music does not drive people to kill. There is proof, there's no, been no proof such has been offered. Uh, one teacher speaks of a student who wore a Metallica shirt every day uh, to school and wrote lyrics with foul language. But, there's, but he was often seen in the front row of the Sunday Mass with his mother in a nice suit. Uh, the same people who go with Black Sabbath and Motley Crue are the same people who handle world finance and international affairs. It's just their choice of music. Uh, but third point about mass media does not cause des desensitization. Uh, Jonathan Friedman at the University of Toronto maintained that the scientific evidence simply does not show that watching violence either produces violence in people or desensitizes them. A lady named Lisa uh, said that she is Adam Lanza's mother, Harrison, Harrison's mother, Holmes chose and chose mother. I have a son named Michael who said she wanted to he wanted to kill me and himself at the age of 13. She states, in another horrific national tragedy, it is easy to talk about guns. It's not a talk about mental illness. All these boys and the mothers need help. I don't want to see my dirty kid go to jail. But our society with the stigma and mental, and mental illness and its broken health care system does not provide us with any other options. Then another tortured soul shoots up a fast food restaurant, a mall, kindergarten classroom, and we all wring our hands and say something must be done. And violence in mass media has no effect on people's psychological well-being. Dr. Block, a psychiatrist in private practice and also a researcher, uh, interested in technical technology effects on individuals, questioned the assertion that states that it's not the content of video games that is the issue. It's the fact that Harrison Klebold were so heavily immersed in the virtual world. It's not the overuse of media, it's not its context. It's the Overuse of media not its context that affects behavior. A few months before the shooting, they got in trouble with their parents and their parents took away their electronics. Then they couldn't go to the virtual world, so they preferred real life, which is the reason I called the call, the reason uh, <coughs> the call my high school attack. And, the, and the, my fits were playing, uh, violence video games has no effect on those who play them. <coughs> now since the school shooting incident, the US Secret Service and the Federal Bureau of Investigation National Center and that, of the analysis of violent video. Violent crime do, do not support the link between violent video games and real world attacks. In, in contrast, a longitudinal study published a year by Ferguson and colleagues, seven of which followed 165 boys and girls ages 12 to 14 over three years found no long term link between violent video games and, uh, and youth aggression or dating violence. In conclusion, researchers from the Annenberg Public Policy Center did a study on 945 movies, counting a periods of violence from 1950 to 2012. Brad J. Bushman and others found that 
violence and movies have nearly doubled. But according to the U.S. Bureau of Statistics, the overall violent victimization rate decreased by 40% from 2001 to 2010. Similarly, the murder rate of the U.S. has dropped from up to by almost half from 9.8 per 100,000 people in 1991 to 5.0 per 100,000 people in 2009. So it doesn't really make sense. Thank you. All right, Doug, you, you label the main proposition, and then you present a counterclaim, and then you basically got several supporting points for your own counterclaim. As you're getting into the argument, it sounds to me like the counterclaims you're presenting are also responded to the claims presented by the advocate, you know, their parallel answers. And I'm not, I didn't know that until I got to, to the first point, because it sounded like you were basically creating your own separate structure as you're developing. But the fact is that they respond to particular points that's pretty reasonable. That means that there is a structure here that's uh, arguing the claims that are being presented. The problem I see here is that there's rarely any discussion of what the advocate's evidence and reasoning were. Uh, mostly we get good counterclaims. And I think that you have several good counterclaims on these points, that the, the link on the first point is thin. You mentioned the specific example. I thought that that one was, that, that was probably the best example that you had there on the first point when you're talking about the uh, Batman shooter. And then later on at the end when you're talking about the uh, Columbine guys, that specifically talks about issues that the advocate presented, and I appreciated that. Um, you know, you, you had a good general quote at the end of that point that it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's that reversal sort of thing. It's really people choosing these to operate in these games, that sort of uh, activity to reflect the way they feel as opposed to they feel that way because they uh, play those games. I, th I thought that that was, you know, a good general press on that point. On the second issue, uh, the advocate used a particular example. They're making a broad generalization on that. I think that there's, there are good general arguments to make here. You mostly rely on a counterclaim, making a similar kind of inference, doing, using the same kind of evidence. Well, here we've got a kid who wears a Metallica shirt, but he sits in Sunday school every week and you know, has never been any problem. So why is that a good example for you to make your point with if a single example was a bad way for the advocate to make their point with? I think that's a little inconsistent. Uh, I'm not saying that you couldn't make that argument, but I'm saying by itself, I don't think it does much to enhance your position relative to the advocate's position. Um, on the uh, desensitization issue, I, I thought you had a good direct quote here that responds to that point uh, that where the mom is talking about, look, we've got problems here, that it's the kids that have the problems and we should be worried about the kids. Tried to refocus the issue on mental health. I like that idea. I did think that the presentation of material in this section was a little bit unclear. You needed to give us a little bit more context because you're reading this quote from some mom and go, what, what the hell, huh, what's happening here? And it wasn't quite clear until as we got to the end of what was being said there that this is really somebody who's kind of relating to the same experience. And then there was a similar kind of problem with the, with the next quote also. So I think that you, know, you, you need to give us a little bit more background and explain what the quote is. Usually you're giving us a good counterclaim on these points, but in this section I thought it was problematic. And uh, on the fifth point, I thought you, you basically had a counter study that you're citing here, and I thought that it's uh, pretty reasonable. I don't know how it contrasts to the evidence that the advocate presented on their particular point here, but I know the general gist of your argument is really clear on that point. So, All right, thank you.